guys, what's up? This is Pokemonzer, and welcome back to another video on how to create a bucket or spigot plugin for Minecraft. So, uh, today I'm going to be going over how to manage a player's inventory. <clears throat> so, um, we're going to start out, we've got our class, our package, everything. We're going to extend Java plugin, and we are going to create our on enable and on disable methods. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to create a command now, public boolean, on command, command sender, sender, command cmd, string, label, string, args. Okay, we're going to import everything, return true, and let's format this. Okay, so now we're going to create... Um, our command. So if label dot equals ignore case, let's make it inventory. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure this is the first video that I'm going to be working with arguments in a command. So what we're going to do to check if there aren't any arguments, and just in case you don't know what arguments are, to explain arguments, it's basically okay, so you type slash inventory and then in a command you type space and then uh, and then something else so like slash inventory add and then add would be the argument like an example a popular command slash tp and then you do slash tp player name and the player name is an argument so we're going to create some arguments here so uh, the first thing that we have to do when we're working with arguments is if args dot length equals zero so this is saying if there aren't any arguments, then we're going to send them the message no arguments. Type uh, available commands slash inventory, and then we're going to leave that blank for now. And let's make this red. And then we're going to import static chat color like I showed you in the last video. There we go. Okay. So then, um, okay, we need to establish our player variable. Player p equals player sender. Okay. Import everything. Okay, so now if args length does not equal zero, so if args dot, if args zero dot equals ignore case, then we're going to do add to add an item to the player's inventory. And we're going to say, um, we're going to do inventory, inventory inv equals p dot get inventory. And then we're going to do, um, uh, item stack item equals new item stack material dot uh, material dot get material and then we're going to leave that blank for now and we need to surround this with another if statement because we're going to have to have another argument um, so our second argument so this right here is saying if arg0 equals ignore case, so if we type slash inventory add, um, the way Java works is with a 0, where you would normally logically put a 1. So then if args1 dot equals, if args1 does not equal null, okay, so if, if there is uh, an, a first argument, or a second argument rather, present, um, then we're going to do this. So item stack item equals new item stack uh, material dot get material and then we're going to do args one so this is getting a material from a string so if a player types in um, like slash inventory add um, paper it'll put the args one which is paper it'll convert that into an item stack 
and then it will uh, put that in their inventory. So right now, all we have is converting it into an item stack. So we need to put it in their inventory. So we're going to do inf.add item item. And there we go. So now we have our uh, add command. So if, okay. So, and then we're going to do um, also, we're going to do a remove command. So if arg0 dot equals equals ignore there we go ignore case remove um, inventory in equals p dot get inventory if args one not equal no item stack item equals new item stack material dot get material material args one and inv dot remove item item okay so we remove that item for their from their inventory so um, now we're going to update this so this is basically the help screen so you say no arguments available commands slash inventory add slash inventory remove and we're going to also make slash inventory clear go ahead command shift F to format that control shift F if you're on Windows uh, so then we're going to do if args 0 dot equals ignore case clear we're going to copy some of this. Okay. Um, except we're going to get rid of this part. All we needed was the inventory. Okay, so end dot clear. Okay, so we cleared their entire inventory. So uh, that's about all we can do. Um, and then, so going back to this, so like if they type slash inventory add, it's just going to return blank. It's not going to give them anything. It's not going to send any message. So we're going to do if args one uh, if args one equals no if args one dot length equals zero. Then we're going to do p dot send message. Uh, p dot send message. Let's do red plus red plus um, your so oh, let's do something went wrong usage slash inventory at material okay there we go and then we're going to do this as well for the remove and we're going to change this for remove but then our problem is since we're working with arguments if somebody types slash inventory add diamond 2 then they're not going to nothing's going to happen because all we're checking is if the args 1 does not equal null so we're going to just do else and then um, and then do this same message so in fact we can actually just get rid of this so this is just saying um, if there's anything else so included with the args1 thing, then um, it's just going to return with that usage message. So, else. So that's just if anything, any command is like unrecognized or something. If they type slash inventory add or whatever. So that's just going to return with that. Okay, so looking back over the code, I actually made a couple changes because I was getting some internal errors. So just to keep you updated on this. Um, so because we have our first if statement, if args.length equals zero, we're going to need to add else's in front of all of the other main if statements. So if this happens, then do something. But else, if this happens, then do this different thing. That's basically what we're trying to say. 
So that's going to per minimize the internal errors given by this. Um, and then another thing that I did was I added an if statement just at the at the uh, very end of this. So else, so else, if anything else happens that we haven't already said, then we're just gonna say something went wrong. We don't know what went wrong, but that went wrong. So we're going to go back. I have it loaded up here in game. Okay, so um, we're going to do inventory, no arguments, available commands, slash inventory add, slash inventory remove, slash inventory clear. So we're going to do slash inventory add diamond. We get another diamond in our inventory. Inventory remove diamond. We remove a diamond. Inventory add web. And then we'll just keep getting some webs, just some random blocks. And these all have to be capitals. With the uh, way that we set it up, it has to be the materials in bucket. So if you like, if you spell something wrong or put in a wrong item, it's going to throw an internal error because the item is unrecognized. Um, so while we look at this lovely statue, we can clear our inventory. Inventory clear. Bam. All gone. So thank you for watching this episode of How to Make a Bucket Spigot Plugin. Uh, please leave suggestions down in the comments for what I should give a tutorial on next time. And uh, that's about it. Tell me how I did. Tell me if there's anything I need to improve on. And tell me if something's not working. I'll make sure to fix it. Uh, I'm probably going to make a GitHub repository soon with all of this in it. So, uh, well, just to conclude, thank you. Thank you for all the support you've been showing on this series. Thank you for all the views, the likes, the comments, the positive feedback. I mean, it's just really great. Thank you. Just keep watching this, and I'll promise... I, I promise that it will get better if you don't already like it, and if you do like it, well, it's still going to get better. So thank you for watching, and good night.